Good morning YouTube. So I wanted to give you an update on this BuildTac uh, material for my 3D printer. So I've been using this about four months now. I just uploaded the first impressions video that I did back in May and it's now September and uh, yeah I've been pretty happy with the material. It's been working quite well. This is my second sheet that I've applied. The first sheet uh, lasted me about one month and I ended up replacing that because two things happened. One is I think right over in this area when I was trying to work on the bed leveling somehow I got that off and what happened was the nozzle on the extruder dug into the material there so you you need to be really careful with your bed height. You can't let the uh, nozzle hit this material because it will damage it uh, the other problem was uh, operator error. I was in the uh, web interface for the 3D printer and I accidentally entered the extruder temperature for the build plate temperature. So I set like 240C for the build plate and I think the printer goes up to 150 maximum and the build tack maximum temperature is 125 and what happens is the adhesive under here starts to bubble up so I had bubbles all over the material and it was pretty much useless at that point if you need to replace build tack that's probably a handy tip is crank your bed temperature as high as you can for maybe 30 minutes and let the uh, let the adhesive bubble up a little bit because that makes peeling this stuff off a lot easier. I peeled off the old uh, piece, put down a new piece, and I've been using this again about three months now, I think. And as far as routine maintenance, what I will do is I have some 70% uh, isopropanol, and I'll squirt that on the surface and wipe it down maybe once a day. And then maybe twice a week, I've got some fine grit uh, sandpaper here, and I'll go over the surface just lightly. So after I do that, then I'll apply the alcohol and wipe that down to get all the, the dust off from the sandpaper. So that's how I take care of the, the materials. One other thing on, uh, at least with the Series 1 Pro, the Type A machines, when they start a print, they always bring the extruder right out to this point, and then they'll extrude about a 75 millimeter strip of filament right along here. So this leading edge here gets used every single time. So one thing I'll do every time is just kind of sand that down a little bit because it gets pretty beat up. I don't know if there's a way to change where that first uh, pass is done. So I imagine every printer has their own uh, startup routine. Yeah, so as far as setting the height and the level, what I use this, uh, this is a piece of um, self-adhesive protective tape. And I find, for me, this is just the right thickness. So if I uh, home the bed here, I'll put this under there and you can see it's there's a bit of a drag there I can't push it but I can pull it just with finger pressure that's what I find works for for my printer is having just a bit of drag on this and so to level the bed I'll just move the extruder to the four corners and then underneath here you have the adjustment screws that was uh, the thing I found that worked for me is, is find, a, find a piece of material that you can uh, use to set that up. And once I get it set up right, it seems to stay pretty good. So then the, the other thing as far as day-to-day -day use of the build tack, you need to be really careful with removing your prints from the bed. So the most useful tool that I've uh, run across is this is from 4Easy. I ordered this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the video description. I think it came with both of these two spatulas. 
I use this little one the most. I haven't used this one a lot. And then I also have the Build Tack spatula. But all of these are really good because one of the things that you have to do with the Build Tack is you need to remove the item when the build plate is still hot. And because of that, having this these offset spatulas is really handy because it keeps your your knuckles off of the hot <laughs> build plate uh, versus if you had a, a spatula like this you have to really concentrate on keeping it bent so you don't touch this hot bed where something like this works quite well and uh, I find the Build tack spatula works good for really large parts where you're having to, uh, you know, work in under a, a really deep part. And the nice thing with this is you can you can push it in and kind of wiggle it back and forth and work your way in. Where this one works better for smaller parts, and it's a lot thinner. You have a lot thinner edge there than you do on, you know, this one is fairly thick edge so that that's what I use for removing uh, prints off of the bed and you need, just need to be careful you don't use anything with a sharp edge like a uh, paint scraper because you can nick that material and then you're out about 15 to 18 dollars for a sheet of this so the one change I've made since my initial setup is I've I think as, as the material wears in a little bit, it gets a little bit less adhesion, so to speak. And I, as a result, I've raised my temperature up to between 95 and 100 C. And I'm not using the lower temperature as I go up. I just leave it at either 95 or 100 for ABS. But yeah, this, this has been working good. I've got about three months on this sheet. And, oh, it's probably printed several kilograms of material on, on this. Still working quite well. Hit it with the sandpaper and the alcohol every once in a while. And it's good to go. So I think I'm ready to... Uh, do some more printing today. Yeah, if you have any experience with build tack and want to share that in the comment section below, go ahead. And if you have any questions on how I use it, uh, post that up as well. If you're new to the channel, haven't already done so, subscribe. There's a link in the lower right corner to subscribe to the channel, be notified of updates. And as always, thanks for watching.